Hello guys, I'm teacher Anna. We will continue to work in the exercise. So go to page 140. Page 140, 140. Solve and check uh, these equations, equaciones. What we have to do, find what number is this letter. What we're going to do first, we're going to copy this side. Vamos a copiar otra vez este lado de acá, G plus 2. And we are going to make this, 13 minus 7. 13 minus 7 is 6. So, what's next? I am going to write the opposite of this. What is the opposite of plus? It's minus. I'm going to write it again here and here, minus 2. So, what's next? 6 minus 2 equals 4. I'm going to cancel this. Voy a cancelar estos. Y solo bajamos la letter G. Ok? G is 4. Now, I'm going to write again this equation. Ya no voy a escribir G. Voy a escribir 4 porque G is 4. 4 plus 2 equals 13 minus 7. Estoy copiando esto de arriba otra vez. How is 4 plus 2? 4 plus 2 equals 8. I'm sorry. 4 plus 2 equals 6. And 13 minus 7 equals 6. Did you see? It's correct because 6 equals 6. Nos tiene que dar la misma respuesta. Now, exercise 2. P, P minus 2 equals 7 minus 3. What we are going to do first, we are going to copy this again. P minus 2 equals 7 minus 3 equals 4. Now, the opposite of the subtraction. ¿Cuál es el opuesto de la resta? La suma. Entonces, vuelvo a escribir este aquí. Plus 2, plus 2. 4 plus 2, 6. I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to cancel this. Lo voy a cancelar porque ya no los ocupo. ¿Y qué pasó ahora? Bajo la letra P. Entonces, ¿qué nombre es la letra P? 6. So, I know the letter P is 6. I'm going to write it again. 6 minus 2. Voy a hacer una línea para que no se confundan. Equals 7 minus 3. 6 minus 2 equals 4. And 7 minus 3 equals 4. There are the answers. Now, exercise 5. En el ejercicio 5, pueden verlo de su libro, hay un reloj. Pueden hacerlo solitos en el exercise 5. Please, do it. Pass the video. So, there are the answers for the clocks. 12.29 is the first clock and 4.55 is the second clock. Exercise 6. Write the answer. Todavía seguimos en la página 140. One gallon equals how many quarts? Four quarts. One peg equals a quart. One bushel. How many pegs make one bushel? Four peg. One quart, how many pints do you need to make one quart? Two. How many cups do you need to make one pint? Two cups. Very good. Exercise seven, I have three dollars, five cents, six dollars with a 28 cents, and nine dollars with 14 cents. What I have to do first, we are going to make the ones here. Five plus eight plus four. There is 17. 1 plus 2 plus 1, 4. Don't forget the period. 3 plus 6 plus 9, 18. You have to write the dollar sign, remember. Now, exercise B. Uh, you have to multiply. 4 times 4, 
first time six, cuatro por seis, veinticuatro. Six times five, thirty, plus two, thirty-two. Six times zero, zero, plus three, three. Six times two, twelve. Don't forget that comma. 7,395 times 4. 5 times 4? 20. 4 times 9? 36. 36 plus 2? 38. 4 times 3? 12 plus 3? 15, 4 times 7, 28, plus 1, 29. Okay, what happened here? I have to borrow to my neighbor because he's minus. He doesn't have, so I have to borrow to my neighbor. 7, can you borrow me 110? Yes. This has to be 7, and this has to be 10. Now he can borrow me now. Ahora si me puede prestar. Vamos a quitar para que me preste acá. 14 minus 9. 14 minus 9 equals 5. 9 minus 3 equals 6. 6 minus 8. Can I make this? ¿Puedo hacer eso? ¿Puedo restarle 8 a 6? No, right? So he has to borrow to the neighbor. 16 minus 8 equals 8. And 1 minus 1 equals 0. So, aquí termina. 865. Next page. Now you will see exercise A1, page 141. Look at the page. 141. Exercise 1, write the products. 0 times 7. Zero. One times seven, seven. Two times seven, fourteen. Three times seven equals twenty-one. Four times seven, twenty-eight. Five times seven, thirty-five. Six times seven, forty-two. Seven times seven. 49, 8 times 7, 56, 9 times 7, 63, 10 times 7, 70, 11 times 7, 77, 12 times 7, 84. Exercise 2. Solve the story problems. No lo escribí ahí porque lo van a leer junto conmigo. Joshua went, exercise A. Joshua went ice fishing with his dad on Lake Winnebago, Wisconsin. His dad caught 13 fish. How many fish caught that? 13. You're going to write 13 here. And Joshua caught nine fish. How many more fish did Joshua's dad catch than Joshua? What is that? Plus, minus, division, or multiplication is subtraction. 13 minus 9 equals 14. Papá capturó cuatro más que Joshua. Four fish. Exercise B. Read, please. Before they went fishing, Joshua and his dad ate pancake for breakfast. Joshua ate seven pancakes. His dad ate four pancakes. How many pancakes ate uh, Joshua? Seven. And his dad? Four. So, what is that? Read that, read that question. Lea la pregunta, how many more cakes did Joshua eat than 
than his dad. ¿Cuántos comió Joshua de más que papá? Is minus. Seven minus four, three. Three pancakes. Three pancakes. Exercise three, do it by yourself, write that quotient. Exercise C, write that quotient. You have to make that divisions. Give me a number in the table of six that gives you 42. Un número en la tabla del 6 que le dé 42. Seven. 12 divided by six. Two. 36 divided by six. Six. 48 divided by 6, 8, 30 divided by 6, 5, 72 divided by 6, 12, 54 divided by 6, 9, 18 divided by 6, 3. How we know that? Because it's the six times table. You need to review the six times table. Tienen que repasar la tabla del seis. No se les olvide. Para dividir, tienen que practicar las tablas. Okay, guys, we will continue with the page 142. Page 142. Divide and check. What we are going to do first, we are going to make this. Work with this. Give me a number. You have four things. Tiene cuatro cosas y tiene que ponerlas en grupos de tres. ¿Cuántos grupos le salen? Only one, right? So, one times three, three. What do you have to do now? Subtract. Four minus three, one. Now, you have to bring down, you have to bring down the number five. Now, give me a number in the table of three that gives you 15. Un número en la tabla del tres que le dé 15. Three, right? Oh, no. Five. Because three times three is a nine. And five times three equal 15. 15 minus 15, zero. So... How you have to check that? How? Como? Como vamos a chequear? With a quotient, 15, and the divisor, 3. 3 times 5, 15, plus 1. 3 times 1, 3, plus 1, 4. Got it? Now the next exercise. 87 divided by 4. 87 divided by 4. We're going to work with this first. Give me a number in the table of 4 that gives you 8. 2, right? 2 times 4, 8. 8 minus 8, 0. Now bring down the number 7. Vamos a bajar el número 7. How many groups of 4? Can I make with, with seven objects? ¿Cuántos grupos de cuatro puedo hacer con siete objetos? Only one. One times four, four, right? Seven minus four, three. ¿Podemos seguir acá? No, porque ya no hay más números, ¿ok? Aquí termino con este. This will be my remainder. ¿Por qué? Porque es menor que este. Entonces el remainder lo voy a escribir aquí arriba. Voy a borrar este porque ya lo hicimos. Pero más chiquito. Mi remainder va a ser 3. Ok. Now, check. I'm going to take this 21 times 4. 1 times 4. 1 times 1, 4. 1 times 2, 8. 84. Now, I'm going to add, voy a sumar, a remainder. ¿Cuál era el remainder? Era 3. Uh -huh. 84 plus 3, 87. Is this correct? Yes, it's correct. Look, 87, 87. Now, can you make that next exercise by yourself? Exercise C, 
Do it by yourself, this. 73 divided by six. Now the next exercise is 73 divided by six. What, what number we're going to work this? Bring down the number three. Two times six, twelve. Is one. So there are no number. Ya no hay más números. This will be my remainder. Now check. Twelve times six. Six times two, twelve. Oh, I'm sorry. 12. 6 times 1, 6 plus 1. 7 plus the remainder, that is 1. 73 is the same number. Did you see? Now, exercise 6 says. Add commas and circle the digit in the hundred thousand place. Okay, we're going to start counting with for the commas. A contar para colocar las comas. Las comas las vamos a colocar cada tres dígitos. Vamos a comenzar con los ones. One, two, three, coma. One, two, three, coma. Okay, what is the hundred thousand place? Ones, tens, hundreds, one thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. This will be the hundred thousand place. Did you see it? Yes? Now, the other one, exercise B. One, two, three, comma. Ones, thousands, hundreds, oh, I'm sorry, ones, tens, hundreds, one thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. The next one, one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. Ones, tens, hundreds. 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. 1, 2, 3, comma. 1, 2, 3, comma. Ten, ones, tens, hundreds, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. Can you read this number, this digit? Pueden leerlo. 729,431,685. That is a lot, right? You need to practice to read numbers like that. Tiene que practicar a leer números así de grandes, but in English, not in Spanish, in English. And the last exercise is exercise 7. It's the same page, page 142. Okay, what you're going to do, fill in the blank that is greater than, less than, or equal. Okay, we have first, yo lo puse hacia abajo porque no me cabe, no, la pizarra no me cabe, entonces lo hice hacia abajo. Quart is greater than or less than. Greater than is this, less than is this, equal. Tenemos que poner cualquiera de esos tres. Quart is greater than or less than peck? Is less than peck. 27 minus 23. Vamos a hacer primero esto. ¿Cuánto es 27 minus 23? 4. 49 minus 35? 14. That is greater than or less than? 4 es mayor o menor que 14? Is less than. Okay. 8 times 4. 32, 6 times 6, 36. This is greater than or less than? Less than. 32 is less than 36. Pound and ounce. Pound is greater than or less than an ounce? Is greater than. 
Now here, pay attention here. What you're going to do in the letter E, you're going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many sticks? Nine. And here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine here and eight here. Nine is greater than or less than? Greater than. 72 divided by six. How is 72 divided by six? 12. And three times four? 12, two. There is equals. Did you see? Yard is greater than or less than foot? Is greater than. Ton is greater than or less than a pound? Greater than. And 12, 12 times 2? 24. And 4 times 7? 28. So this is less than than seven. Got it? If you didn't finish, remember, pause the video.